Hello, good morning. We are arriving at the end of the, uh, the month of May. Today is the 28th, and I would like to read with you in Romans chapter 5, verse 21. So that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Beautiful. Really beautiful. I don't know if you like music or if you like classic music, baroque music. I sing here in France and um, and I sing in a choir and I also sing. And uh, and it's amazing. Some uh, when you are listening to this music and you know that it's building up to to uh, to something wonderful, yeah? like uh, Handel's Messiah. Uh, we we hear that uh, when the, the, he was performing it in England. Um, the king uh, stood up when the, the choir was singing Hallelujah! It's so amazing. It's like, uh, wow, we wanted to stand up. And some, I was singing once in the north of France and uh, in this cathedral with this choir and then uh, people stood up in the middle of the hallelujah. It's so amazing. It's so beautiful that you want to clap, though you shouldn't clap in the middle of uh, of it. You have to wait until the end of the whole thing, three hours and a half maybe, uh, to, to wait and to stand up and clap. But here, I can feel that Paul is probably standing up and say, wow, hallelujah. Before Jesus came into this world, and uh, uh, in every land and place where he's not reigning, we, you could see corpses all over the place. Luke, when he starts talking about the ministry of Jesus, he says that, um, quoting a, a prophet, the prophet Isaiah, he says that people in, uh, in, in Galilee, they were sitting in darkness. You're seated there in darkness. When you're sitting, it's because you cannot walk, you cannot move, you cannot go forward. And then they were not just sitting, but in darkness. And Jesus comes and proclaims his kingdom. And, start, and he start, starts healing people, blessing people, raising people from the dead and telling the, the demons to go, to leave people free. And then, we, we can, can you hear the music? You know, like in a... Beautiful movie. I also write books where I put music in my in my story. Some people they can hear the music. You know when uh, when you are there sitting, then and you hear this beautiful music. And you can hear that music, and you know that something is going to happen. Sin, says this text, has been reigning through death. And death is an, an, a horrible thing. When someone, when you lose someone, you, there is this emptiness. And you can't hear the people, the person's voice. You can see the person. It's, it's an abomination. And there is a death even worse than physical death. Sin has been reigning in death. Death everywhere. Death in the families, death in, your, in, your, in people's lives, death in, in countries. Have you, have you watched a movie about the end of the war, the Second World War? It, it is it's terrible. When we wake up to, to understand, to realize that six million Jewish people have been exterminated and some other minorities as well. Some, lots of homosexuals are killed as well. And millions of people died all over the place. Death everywhere. Towns and cities completely destroyed. Lives destroyed forever. Sin reigning in death. But then we hear the music. You hear the hallelujah. And when you hear the hallelujah, you realize that something new has happened. Grace now is reigning. It's grace it's there now. And it says that grace reigns to bring eternal life. This amazing work, this amazing gift of God through his son, Jesus Christ on the cross, where he killed the snake. He killed sin. He destroyed the power of the evil one. So now we hear another music and this person that was prostrated like the army in Ezekiel that was dead. And then when the prophet is proclaiming the word of the Lord, 
all those soldiers, they come back to life. We don't need a dead army. We need one that's being ra raised from the death. The transformation is amazing here. The change in scenes is complete. We are, we are in darkness now, and now we are in the light. It's not sin that's reigning anymore in my life, in your life, I hope. It's grace, and it's for eternal life. It's not just for life. It's for eternal life. It's for another kind of life. It's not just a life that lasts forever, eternal life. Jesus says that he is eternal life. It's the life of Jesus in us. And of course, it's through Jesus Christ, our Lord. It couldn't be otherwise. And that's how he finishes here in chapter 5. Before we go, we, we, we keep on going further and further and further to talk about righteousness and justification by faith. Grace. Isn't it amazing? To, it's, an amazing it's an amazing way of finishing this chapter, this part. Saying, up to now, sin was reigning, but now grace will reign forever. And I pray that grace will reign forever in your life. And your life will be transformed by the love of God. God bless you.